I just picked these pieces up from paint. So we've got the tailgate bezel. So this is where the handle comes through. Nice chrome handle, the bezel's painted and it comes with a rear view camera built in. So we've got the rear view camera. That's gonna be super nice for backing up at shows and stuff like that. Uh, we've got all of the door handles painted with chrome handles as well. So we're gonna reassemble those. And then the valance is ready to go as well. And you can't see it very well on camera, but this thing looks killer. It's all smoothed. Um, so we're gonna get the chicken lights in this thing, get these all reassembled. We've also got a new tailgate for the dually because the, uh, the bottom side of the one that's currently on it is rusting away a little bit. So new tailgate, so we're gonna get that on. We're gonna debadge the tailgate. I also wanna debadge the truck while I've got it. So now we've got all our little rubber grommets installed and we can start sliding the chicken lights through and then we'll be able to wire everything up. Okay, now we've got all our valance lights on and obviously there's a fair amount of wiring to do back here. So we wanna tie all these together and then uh, tie them into our running lights so they'll come on with my cab lights and uh, the running boards and all that other stuff. But I'm really liking this look. All the lights are now wired up on the back of the valance here. So I just basically ran a main ground and a main power and then uh, basically cut a hole in the coating and tied in each light. I'm gonna add some loom to this as well just so these are protected because they're gonna be sitting pretty low. This is gonna run up. I'll have a 20 amp inline fuse here and then I'll run it up, tie it into my daytime running lights and these will all be functional. I am gonna seal these off as well if you look at this. They are a little loose the way they sit in here because uh, they're meant for something that's a little thicker than this valance. So I'm gonna use some silicone, seal them all into place. While I'm letting some of my silicone dry up, I'm gonna move on to the tailgate. So I wanna remove these badges, clean up the rear end. And then we're also gonna have to pull this off because we've got our nice new one with the rear view camera to go on as well as the chrome handle. All clean, way better without the badges. I think it's just a really clean look. So now that I've got the badges off, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over so that we can get these removed and uh, get the new ones on. Okay, so we got the chrome handle bolted in place. Now we're gonna fish our harness for the backup camera up through the bottom here. And as you can see, I've already got it fished up to right here. So we're gonna grab this guy right here. We're gonna fish our harness up through, connect it at this little connector right here. And then we'll be able to pull it back and uh, run it under the truck once this is on. So everything is wrapped up on the valance now until we get it on the truck. Tailgate's ready to go on the truck. Uh, all we've got to do is get the handles reassembled and then we'll get the truck in here and start installing everything. So we've got to reassemble all of the, uh, the spring and the little mechanism on the back with a pin. And then there's also a pin that goes into the side that pivots. And uh, it normally comes belled out on one end and I had to drill it out. So I'm going to stick it down so that uh, it's aiming downwards and then JB welded in place and they should be good to go. Now, if you're gonna do this yourself, just know that there is a difference between the rear handles and the front handles uh, spring-wise. So uh, this is a front, it's a little bit of a smaller little mechanism compared to the rears, which is a bit bigger. But how this works is there's basically just this piece which attaches to your metal rod in the door and then you've got a little uh, spring that compresses this so that when you pull the handle, it pulls back down 
And then on this side, we've got a pin that just goes through the pivot point of the handle. So this is the reason that we're replacing the tailgate. It's already rusted through a little ways and somebody tried to patch it up with a little bit of spray paint and scratch it down. But uh, new tailgate's just the easier way to do it. It only cost me 150 bucks. So we'll go slap the new one on, get this wired up, get this back tray back on. And then this rear end is gonna look way nicer. What do you guys think of the no badge look? I like how clean it is. So we're gonna slide this thing the rest of the way back now and then uh, we can start working on the balance and the door handles. I routed the wire for the backup camera out and down in behind my uh, extra brake light on the back here. Ran it underneath and then up to where the reverse light is on the tail light. Uh, tied the power into the power for the reverse light and then I just grounded it out up in here I put a self tapper into the metal back here because this is fiberglass on the dualies So tapped into that for a ground just to keep it out of the element So it's kind of tucked up in here So I'm gonna go ahead and get the tailgate back on and then I've got to route the uh, harness all the way up to the deck inside of the truck Okay guys, I now have the backup camera installed fully everything's wired up I ran the wire all the way up along the frame came in through the firewall and then just plugs right into the deck. So if I pop her in reverse, my camera comes up. Man, it's hard to see with the reflection in here, but it's there. Okay, so the starter on the Mazda decided to give out on me, so I can't pull it out and pull the dually in. And they don't fit together, so we're gonna have to pull the dually in halfway and uh, get nice and cold, because it's still winter and uh, the bay door won't be able to close. So it's gonna get a little chilly in here, but we'll work through it. By the way, I hope you like my outfit. Sexy, I know. Next on the list is to fix this bumper gap. So recently I did the bumper lift on this, but I was a little bit short on washers and the bolts were a little short. So I went and got the right stuff. And now we can lift that up just a little bit before we get the balance on. After a hard fought battle, I've now got the bumper spaced up appropriately and everything's nice and level. So we're gonna go ahead, grab that balance and mount it right along the bottom. I've already got all my holes pre-drilled and everything. And as you guys saw, everything's wired up already. So what we're gonna do is mount it on and then we can run the wiring up, tie it into our daytime running lights and uh, we should be good. I just finished wiring up all of the balance lights. We do still have a little bit of fitment to work on here, but I'm gonna get that afterwards. Uh, we're just gonna make sure that they're functioning properly and they're running with the daytime running light so everything comes on at once. Next up on the list, I wanna get rid of these rain guards. So we're gonna pull these off, these two, and then we're also gonna debadge the truck. So I wanna pull these badges off as well as this badge here. And then once we get the new handles on, that should give us a really clean look on the side profile as well. Much cleaner without those on there now. I got all the residue off, so there's no more sticky glue. Do a little comparison side to side. I like it. Now I just want to pull this little badge here and these old faded ones. And that's gonna be the same thing, just use a little bit of fishing line, get in behind them and then uh, remove the residue. I decided to keep the little Duramax emblem right here, but other than that, the rest are all gone. So that one's removed and the one on the back corner here is removed as well and the rain guards are all gone. Looks nice and sleek. Next thing I wanna do is the handles. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the door panels off so that we can access the back of them loosen them up, and then obviously I have to pull the lock from this one. The passenger side doesn't have a lock on it. I just have to pull the lock from this one and put it on the new one.
while I'm on a roll here, I wanna go ahead and remove these old camper ties as well that the last guy had on them. So there's two in the back here, which I'm not super worried about. They don't look as old as the ones right here. Um, these ones are rusted out pretty good. I already tried to pull one of the bolts and uh, this was the outcome. And that was the easy one to access. So those are probably not gonna be fun, but it's about time I get them off anyway. So if I have to grind them off, I'll grind them off. Super happy with how this one is coming along so far. Obviously we need new wheels and tires and we need a leveling kit to get rid of this rake. But uh, let me know what else you guys wanna see done to this thing.